Hi, I'm Tom Bragg from Cambridge Carbon Footprint and this is our latest thermal camera on loan. It's a Hick Micro Pocket 2. It has 256 by 192 pixel resolution, the best of our cameras. And this short video is about how to get started. Now the Hick Micro Pocket 2 comes in this protective case. You should have the USB lead in there. It's held very firmly in this case and I suggest you bend the case away from you there and then you'll be able to get it out. To turn on the Pocket 2 we're going to press this power button. The other one is for taking photos and videos. So here we go. You hold this for about three seconds and then after that you should see Hit Micro announcement and before long it should be showing you thermal images, yes, like here is my hot cup. So to take a picture we're going to use this bigger button on the top and you press that not for too long and you should see this little image here is showing what you've just taken and saved to the camera's internal memory. If you press this button for longer, like this, then you will see it's now taking video. Here's the second sticking by on the video. Just move that a bit. And you can stop that with um, holding it again. Recording successful. So you can see what you've been taking in this right hand menu here. And in the middle, the, what's in the internal memory. So I think in Tom test, here's what we've just taken. I think this first one is the video moving around. It is a video. And it, when you play it back on the computer or a phone, it should have sound on it. This camera can record sound, but it doesn't have an internal speaker. I recommend that you have it so that for each thermal image, you're also recording this slightly wider visible image. When you want to recharge your Pocket 2's battery or you want to transfer the images to a computer, take this USB-A end and plug it into the charger or the computer. And then put the USB-C plug into the socket on the camera and you'll see that it has a red light which means it's charging and when that red light goes green then it means it's fully charged. On the computer when you get that bleep a new external drive should have appeared and uh, here's mine it says pocket 2 D colon and if you click into that uh, you'll always have that DCIM folder, I think. And under here, I've got some pictures, thermal image, regular image. These are ordinary JPEG files that you can save onto your hard drive and share in the usual ways. When you finish with the Pocket 2, please make sure its battery is fully charged and that um, your images are deleted from its internal memory. Put it in its case, make sure the USB lead is in that pocket and then press it firmly into this side and then it's in its case and well protected. Please return it as arranged and fill in your survey form. Thanks.